What Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott from the Colonial Life Arena, where the month of December was very good to Gamecock men's and women's basketball. We'll have a recap of all of the highlights from that month for both squads coming up on the show today. We're also going to sit down with Kevin Epley, the head coach of the Gamecock women's tennis team, as they get ready for their winter slash spring season to get underway. We'll look back here now. Refresh your memory a bit on what was a historic 2019 season for that squad. The first ever SEC Women's Tennis Tournament Championship, an amazing upset of the number one team in the nation on the way there. And I know Kevin Epley has high hopes for this year's squad as well. In fact, we'll hear from the man himself when he sits down with Brad Muller. That's when Gamecock Insider returns. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks. And Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. great explorer, you need to be ready for everything and anything. You need intelligent four-wheel drive and active terrain management system. You need the most available driver assist technology of any vehicle in its class. You need enough cargo space for any adventure. But to be the greatest exploration vehicle of all time, you need all those things inside this thing. The completely redesigned 2020 Ford Explorer. It's the greatest exploration vehicle of all time. Every day, you'll find the most innovative orthopedic care in the Midlands at Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. 
Each of our highly skilled, compassionate physicians specializes in a unique orthopedic condition, caring for people of all ages and stages of life. We'll guide every step of your treatment, from diagnosis to recovery, so that you can get back to feeling like yourself as quickly as possible. You win when you choose Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Hi everyone, Brad Muller alongside South Carolina women's tennis coach Kevin Epley. The Gamecocks coming off a tremendous spring last year. They won the SEC Tournament Championship and advanced to the quarterfinals of the NCAA Tournament before finishing with a program best number five national ranking. And of course, you lost, of course, some key players from that team, but you returned some great players as well and a number one recruiting class coming in this fall. What did you learn about your team during the fall tournaments? Well, we... Uh... We had, a, we had a really good campaign. Mia had a great campaign. Uh, Megan Davis had a great, I mean, she started off with 125 or something in the nation, ended up 28 in the nation. Um, having so many freshmen, it's, it's kind of, we had to rewind a little bit. I had to go back to some years ago when I had that many freshmen and felt like I was starting all over or we were starting all over in some capacity. And we are, it does take time to develop, even if you are a good recruiting class. Um, it, it, it takes a couple. It takes a couple of years to get uh, used to the intensity, get used to the level. Um, so it, it'll be challenging, uh, but we're excited for the challenge coming ahead. But uh, overall, I think uh, we had a lot of things that we can look forward to coming out of the fall. A big surprise has been Emma Shelton, um, who has just been on a very steady upward trajectory throughout the course of the fall. Um, really coming into her own, uh, you know, her father is an SEC coach, tennis coach, men's coach. So I think she's used to the culture of the team and she knows what the expectations are. So she's, she's been a quick study in terms of uh, getting used to what uh, the competition is going to be like. What are some of the other big challenges for the freshmen, regardless of how talented they are, to make this jump to the college level where they're so used to being you know, on the top and then maybe being humbled a little bit, other than Emma, who else has made significant strides in the fall? Well, we have some of the, all of them are coming along. I mean, it's, um, Elise is coming along well. I think towards the uh, end of the semester, I felt like she was playing better. Uh, Kendall, who's a local player, is coming along pretty well. Um, she's working hard. She's just, she's really helped with team energy and she's, she's gonna be a good doubles player for sure one day. Um, Gabby Asensi, uh, Spanish girl, uh, it, it's, it, it's been, it's tough when you come from a different country. It's tough when you have to get used to the culture. It's tough when you have to get a different, uh, style of play, um, and get used to a different style of play in a team setting and so on. The world doesn't revolve around you. You have responsibilities beyond yourself and what your needs are. Um, but she, uh, she started getting it together towards the end of the semester as well. Uh, she, she had a lot of clay court tennis. So she's getting used to the hard court tennis. I mean, just overall, um, it's just it, it, the intensity level is in t more intense at the uh, collegiate level. And uh, the, the team aspects take a little bit of getting used to. And then the style of the play, the demands, the standards, and the, you, don't, you don't get a break. Uh, it's just the, the overall intensity is something to get used to. Let's check the Prisma Health Injury Report. How are the Gamecocks coming out of the fall season? We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Um, Sylvia has a knee issue. Uh, we have some shin splints here and there. We've got some, some niggles, as uh, Megan Davis likes to say, little, you know, little hurts throughout the body, uh, backs and things like that, but nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that. You mentioned Mia Horvitz. She's one of your... Uh, veterans coming back that I know you're going to rely on this year. What are your expectations for those returning players coming into the spring? Well, they're going to have to lead. I mean, it's uh, the, the Mia and Megan played three and four for us last year, did very well in those in those spots. But we're asking them to move up to the one and two spots. 
um, with a lot of youth uh, beneath them. So they're going to have to um, have a, be a unified force, and they're going to have to produce at a, at a higher level in terms of competition, and they're also going to have to keep things on track with the younger ones in the same way um, our three seniors did last year, Rachel, Paige, and Ingrid, um, really kept the cohesion of the team together. So uh, it's, uh, SEC season is no joke, and um, there are a lot of trials and a lot of, a lot of tough moments that uh, we, we definitely need some leadership. Well, Coach, great stuff. Best of luck in the spring. Thank you very much. For Coach Kevin Epley, I'm Brad Muller. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets, pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm Derek Scott. Here at Colonial Life Arena, it was a pretty successful month for Frank Martin in the Gamecock men's basketball program, but it was a very successful month when you look at it from the standpoint of winning on the road. South Carolina, a perfect 3-0 away from the CLA. That included a win against defending national champ Virginia. Let's take a look back at some highlights from the month of December for Gamecock men's hoops. Yesterday, um, we were really good at practice. So there was an enthusiasm, there was a desire to do things right that we haven't had in a while. This best shoot around we've had since probably Wyoming. And, and that's why we came out and played the way we did to start the game.
court. Bryant, the athleticism, and he makes a big difference in the starting five. Look out for Lawson. Steele, Hannibal off to the race with authority. Hannibal, extra step on that man's ladder. You can't teach that. Ooh, South Carolina doesn't truly have him. Five on the shot clock. Bolden launches and counted. Skip pass. Kustar left open. Big response on the other side. Big win for South Carolina on the road as Frank Martin claims a victory in Little John Coliseum. All right, so as far as the Cavaliers, national champs last year. This is where Bryant is so good. He can get his own rebound and rip and go. Kotsar picks it up and a give off. Lost in the throwdown. Miscommunication and a two on one. Pay more attention to the ball than the guy out of the room. And that one knocked down. Jair Bolton comes Lawson. Good. Nice Look up pass. ahead. Benaya and one. Wow. <laughs> the Gamecocks go on the road, and Frank Martin's team picks up a win over Tony Bennett and the Virginia Cavaliers. Well, the non-conference portion of the schedule is over. SEC play just around the quarter. Gamecocks get started right here in just a couple of days against the Florida Gators. When we come back with more of Gamecock Insider, we'll take a look at December for the Gamecock women's team. Highlights are coming up with Don Staley's squad right after this. Every day, you'll find the most innovative orthopedic care in the Midlands at Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. Each of our highly skilled, compassionate physicians specializes in a unique orthopedic condition, caring for people of all ages and stages of life. We'll guide every step of your treatment, from diagnosis to recovery, so that you can get back to feeling like yourself as quickly as possible. You win when you choose Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. When it comes to your money, how do you relax? I relax because I'm with Founders. Because a credit union is not a bank. Banks make money off of you. Founders focuses on the people, not the profit. That's the member benefit. So while we're planning for college, my future, or my new car, building a home, or building a nest egg, Founders works for the financial success of me. We're members, and that means we have a say. And that's how I relax. Visit RelaxJoinFounders.com for membership details. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. When the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Good hard work has earned Mike Kotsar the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. Member of the men's basketball team, Kotsar is a senior finance major with a 3.280 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Second free throw is good, makes it 22 to 13. Gamecocks inbound to Ty Harris. Long shot, banks it in! 
Three ball goes down from three-quarter court for Ty Harris. What a finish for the first quarter. And the Gamecocks lead 25 to 13. A line drive shot. It may not have banked in. May have hit the back of the rim and just bounced. Welcome back to the Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm Derek Scott. The Gamecock women's basketball program, a perfect 4-0 in the month of December. That has allowed them to reach the top five in the nation's rankings. Let's take a look at some highlights from those wins, including a top 25 victory. That win over South Dakota, by the way, the third victory this season over a nationally ranked team. Don Staley squad three and one against ranked opponents. More to come here on Gamecock Insider, so stick with us. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets. 
pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit uscontest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. explorer you need to be ready for everything and anything you need intelligent four-wheel drive and active terrain management system you need the most available driver assist technology of any vehicle in its class you need enough cargo space for any adventure but to be the greatest exploration vehicle of all time you need all those things inside this thing the completely redesigned 2020 ford explorer it's the greatest exploration vehicle of all time Every day, you'll find the most innovative orthopedic care in the Midlands at Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. Each of our highly skilled, compassionate physicians specializes in a unique orthopedic condition, caring for people of all ages and stages of life. We'll guide every step of your treatment, from diagnosis to recovery, so that you can get back to feeling like yourself as quickly as possible. You win when you choose Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks. And Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Congratulations to all of those graduates from the Gamecock Athletic family. Saw a bunch of familiar faces from the Carolina football team getting that cap and gown in that segment as well. That's going to put a cap on this week's edition of the Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again next week. We'll talk to you then. Until then, have a great week, everybody. Gamecock Insider is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties.